Hello, I'm Councillor Paul Bettison, leader of Bracknell Forest, and I'm also the Armed Forces Champion, not only for Bracknell Forest, but for the whole county of Berkshire. We're here today in Sandhurst at the Memorial Grounds to recognise the fact that today is Armed Forces Day. It gives me great pleasure as the Armed Forces Champion to be here with many people from the local community to remember the work that our armed forces do on our behalf day in and day out, often unseen. We also today are remembering the previous service of armed forces veterans, some of which served this country many years ago and still bear the scars, mental or physical, from the sort of thing that hopefully we never have to do again. It also on this occasion we should be remembering the families of our armed forces who give so much in terms of being on their own while their other half is serving often many many miles away for months on end and so today is a day to reflect on the wonderful service that our armed forces give for us and that is centred today in this flag raising ceremony. I trust you will enjoy watching the ceremony and remembering the extreme debt of gratitude that we have to those who serve us as members of our armed forces. Good morning and welcome to today's armed forces flag raising ceremony hosted by Sandhurst Town Council on behalf of Bracknell Forest Council. We are honoured to be able to hold today's event, albeit on a smaller scale due to the current restrictions. The event is to celebrate and recognise the wonderful service provided by our armed forces past and present. There will be short speeches from Councillor Ash Murray, Mayor of Bracknell Forest Council, Councillor Paul Bettison, Leader of Bracknell Forest Council, and the Commanding Officer, Lieutenant Colonel Samantha Hull, from the Royal Military Academy at Sandhurst. Can I please invite Councillor Mary to take the podium. Good afternoon everyone. It is a huge honour to be here today as Mayor of the Borough of Bracknell Forest. On behalf of the Borough of Bracknell Forest, its residents and all my colleagues, I am delighted to say a huge thank you to our amazing armed forces for everything they do, especially during this year, where I think we can all agree we could not have done without you. I myself wore the army uniform for eight years, and as a proud veteran, I am indeed privileged to be with you today. Thank you everyone for what you have done, the calm and professional way you have carried out your duties effectively, without complaining, and truly put country before self. You are indeed everything that is great about Great Britain, and we salute you. Thank you. Good morning. Madam Mayor of the Borough of Bracknell Forest, Councillor Ash Mary. Mr. Mayor of Bracknell Town Council, Councillor Sanjeev Prasad, Madam Mayor of Sandhurst Town Council, Councillor Mrs Sheila Davenport, and members of the Armed Forces and distinguished guests. I'm delighted to welcome you to Sandhurst Town Council to celebrate Armed Forces Day and to show our appreciation of the work of the Armed Forces community past and present. We also recognise the contribution of Commonwealth and Allied forces who have long made a significant contribution to the defence of the United Kingdom, including during the First and Second World Wars. They continue to play an important role 
in the UK Armed Forces, serving in operations worldwide. This has been an unprecedented year for the Armed Forces, where their specialist expertise and equipment has been utilised to support the country's effort in fighting COVID-19. We would like to show our appreciation for the Armed Forces and their key role in the UK's response to COVID-19, both at home and overseas. The Armed Forces' support to the National Health Service and local authorities has been the biggest ever homeland military operation in peacetime, with more than 5,000 personnel involved. Representatives from the British Army, Royal Air Force and Royal Navy have been a key part of the UK's COVID-19 response, both at home and overseas. Military personnel have been supporting the mass vaccination programme by delivering the vaccine and assisting with logistics and the setting up of mass vaccination sites. They have also been supporting community and targeted coronavirus testing and operating mobile testing units across England and were also involved in providing support to the school testing programme. Regular and reservist personnel from all three service areas helped to distribute and deliver personal protective equipment to frontline NHS staff. Armed Forces personnel were also mobilised to support ambulance services across the country last April during the first wave of the pandemic. Over 2,000 military medical professionals were also deployed to work alongside the NHS each day, working alongside doctors and nurses in hospitals right across the country. Alongside these activities, the UK Armed Forces continues to defend the country and its interests every day of the year. They work around the world on training, peacekeeping, counter-terrorism, providing security, tackling drug smugglers and delivering aid. As leader of the Borough Council and as Armed Forces champion, not only for Bracknell Forest, but for the whole of the Royal County of Berkshire, I'm proud of the work we do to support our armed forces. In December 2011, Bracknell Forest Council and its partners signed the Armed Forces Covenant with the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst. And I'm very pleased that Station Commander Lieutenant Colonel Sam Hull is here today. The Armed Forces Covenant is the nation's commitment to those who proudly protect our nation with honour, courage and commitment. It's a pledge that together we acknowledge and understand that those who serve or who have served in the armed forces and their families should be treated with fairness and respect in the communities, economy and society they serve with their lives. The Civilian Military Partnership is a voluntary partnership between the Council, the RMAS and its partners and we are extremely proud of the work we have done. Our ongoing commitment to the armed services personnel and the RMAS is embraced in the Civilian Military Partnership. I'd like to thank everyone involved in organising this event today and all the representatives of the armed forces and of our local community. Thank you. Madam Mayor, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen of of the borough of Bracknell Forest. Thank you for those very kind words of appreciation. They do mean a lot to me and to all the members of the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst. And I thought I'd use this um, opportunity to just talk about uh, three, three different things. Firstly, thank you very much for organising today this flag raising ceremony. It does mean a lot to us to have your continued support. Secondly, to follow on from uh, previously, to talk about the Civil Military Partnership Board, where together we've achieved some really fantastic work. 
The Royal Military Academy has greatly benefited uh, from your continued support through that board. Um, you've translated lots of information to our Gurkha community so that they can access information, particularly regarding COVID, and that's been, that's been greatly appreciated. Also, the work that you've done on, in, the remem in the remembrance space. Your remembrance parades here are the biggest in the area, um, and also your freedom parades. Again, we, we very much appreciate that support that you give us through those events, so thank you. And I've very much enjoyed working with, with, with some of you here in the six months I've been in post, and can, we want to continue that relationship for over the next two years. And it's nice to see some of you face to face as opposed to over a computer screen as we've been doing for the, for, for, for the last six months. And then finally, I just wanted to talk about um, a less formal arrangement that I think really shows the strength of our relationship um, from the Royal Military Academy into the wider community. Um, and it's a, it's a COVID example. There's an army wife called um, Kelly Pollard who, um, lives in the, in the Royal Military Academy, and she started an initiative called the Scrub Hub. And what she did was she started producing scrubs for the military medics that work in the Frimley Park Hospital. And then the support for this initiative swelled, and she ended up having 250 volunteers, both from the Royal Military Academy and from the wider community. And together, they produced lots and lots of, um, lots and lots of scrubs that were distributed throughout the country. I think they got as far as Birmingham. And I think that just shows the strength of our relationship and actually what we can all achieve if we, if, if we work together. And I think, you know, well done to Kelly and thank you to the community for, for that support. So really to sum up, it's just to say thank you. It's been great working with you. Look forward to working together in the future. And I'd like to wish you all a very happy Armed Forces Week. <laughs>